Yo, what's up, guys? This guy's my fan. Let's go. Yo, I've been seeing so many fans lately. It's honestly amazing, guys. Just make sure you use the end tags. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is he doing? What is he doing? Stop. Oh, my God. No. No. Please stop. 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 I got to get in the hole. I got to get in the hole. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why? I thought he was my fan. Yo, this is why I only trust people with the end tag. Oh, my God. What a liar. What is going on guys? My name is Nation and welcome to the Noob to Pro Guide in Mope.io Part 2. We have got 1,000 likes on Part 1, so I decided to do a Part 2 because I've just got so many requests for it guys. You guys really enjoyed the first one. And a lot of people are struggling to get to Kraken and Dragon, especially for those new players. So I just want to help you guys out. Um, this video isn't going to show you how to get like a really high score. It's basically going to show you how to just get to the Kraken and Dragon. The highest and most at the moment guys. So I just want to quickly state two things while I'm just playing with these lower animals. I mean, if you can't get to like Cheetah or something, then I really won't be able to help you because those are like the basics, you know. If you can't do that, then I don't know what to say. But I just want to quickly say that you guys roasted me in my last video for only asking for 7 likes. Apparently, that's like not a lot. So I'm going to try to ask for 20 likes, guys. This is just going to be embarrassing if I do not hit it. So please go ahead and hit that like button. I've also been pinning one of your comments per each video, guys. I'm going to be pinning um, some of the first comments, the first one I really like. So if you have your notifications on and you want to leave some comments, guys, I would really appreciate that. Let's see how many likes we can get the comment I pin in this video, guys. Let's see how many likes we can get it to. That would be pretty cool if we could get to like 50 likes. But without further ado, do, let me give you guys some awesome tips and tricks. Um, so I'm just going to give you guys like a walkthrough of what I'm doing in this gameplay and what you guys can do. You guys can do the same exact thing. If you are struggling right now, I just want to let you know you can do this. You can get to the Kraken or the Dragon. So what you want to do is just get to the seahorse in the ocean. I mean, you could obviously be, be on the land or in the Arctic area, but this is my personal preferences. Um, so I like being the seahorse, getting a lot of lily pads, and then getting to the jellyfish. As the jellyfish, you just want to defend yourself because you could sting people if they try to bite your tails, uh, or your tail. But um, and you really just want to try to tail bite a kraken or a dragon if you can find them in the ocean. So right now I'm right behind the kraken. I did get him. I went straight to the cheetah. Um, you don't really need to get to the cheetah. I was actually planning on being the gorilla and then the bear to farm bananas, but I actually decided uh, decided to get to the pufferfish because I, I don't know pufferfish is OP guys. Um, so you can really pick between that. It doesn't really matter if you get pufferfish or gorilla. Just know what you can do with each animal. As a pufferfish, you really just want to defend yourself, get some points, because you can puff up, and then you're deadly to other animals, guys. So as you can see, I'm hitting this kraken, doing massive point damage to him. You can even kill some really high-level animals, um, but that's kind of rare. Unless you're in a big group doing, like, pufferfish trolling. But as a gorilla and the bear, what you want to do usually is just... Besides killing lower level animals, obviously, uh, you just want to do some farming, the bananas and such. I do not recommend getting the swordfish. As you just saw, I did a teleportation glitch, guys. I teleported out of that area, so basically trolling those high level animals. One hit away from my death, I did it. Um, such a troll. Now I see this swordfish trying to cross. Uh, he's going to die anyways. I don't even know why I pushed him because he was going to die. There's no way he was making it. But I just got some extra points there, so that's pretty nice. Guys, this dragon actually recognized me. Thank you so much for the support. Um, he doesn't have the end tag. I actually see you guys very often, but I don't know. No one's ever using the end tag yet. Like, I got to see some of you using that end tag. Um, that way I can trust you and such. But anyways, I'm just killing this fox, killing the low-level animals as the bear, and also farming some bananas. Um, that, that's what you can do, and also the coconuts, of course. So right now, what I personally do is go to the croc, because you, you don't have to be secluded in one area. You can move around. I really like that, uh, being able to do that. It's a good ability um, to have. Uh, and unlike the octopus, you really have to stay on the water, and it's risky um, going to any other places where there is water. Right now, I'm just running away from these high-level animals, guys. You gotta be really careful. You can go for those quick snags, those quick tail bites. Um, if you're just starting off, I don't recommend doing that too much because it is risky. And sometimes you can die, especially if there's a lot of groups like them. Um, like there is right now. There's a pretty large group. There's a dragon, um, a few dragons, and a hippo. So you can go underwater as the croc for a long time. That's also what I like about it. So you can easily go underwater, heal up if you need to. Um, you can also farm the bananas pretty well, although you can't go on the bushes or trees, of course. Um, but farming bananas is still good because they give a massive XP, guys. Like, you have to realize that in Mope.io. Like, bananas and coconuts 
are very essential to leveling up, um, at least by the farming method. Uh, I mean, obviously, you gotta do a little bit of farming, but you want to get those kills in when you can. So right now, I am almost a rhino, but this dragon's, yo, he's attacking me, sending me on fire. I, I can see, I can estimate that I fit through that place. But guys, you don't want to get stuck by trying to fit through somewhere where you cannot. So you gotta be really careful about that as well. I see two puffer fish. You gotta run away, guys. You got, you need to know that puffer fish are really dangerous, even if you're the kraken or the dragon. That is one very important thing to know, because they can actually kill you guys. They do massive damage. So we got after this mole. He literally gets berries and just levels up. So, I mean, I don't really care about that. It's not a big deal. Let's get some more Madonna's doing that OP farming guys get to the Rhino now I'm smaller because obviously your size depends on your score I'm just doing more farming with the coconuts the Rhino used to be like really OP But it, they recently updated it to buff it or debuff its charge guys So it's not as good, but you can still make some pretty decent kills. I just saw I caught I killed that deer uh, but you can't really go after people like the gorillas and the uh, bears basically because they can go on the trees and run away really easily as the rhino, you just want to get as many kills as possible when you can, guys. Um, and basically run away when you see these high-level animals. One mistake here, like, you guys probably won't have a problem with this. I mean, unless if you're a YouTuber, I guess. But, um, this guy, he, he knows me. At least I thought he was a fan. I don't, he kind of said it. He was like, bite me. And I'm like, nah, nah, it's okay. I was trying to be nice. And then he starts attacking me out of nowhere. Yo, I was so mad as you saw in that first clip. Uh, the real-time gameplay, guys. I was so mad. I was so close to dying. He just barely misses me with that fireball. I was so close to death. But I basically stayed in there. Um, used that running tactic, guys. You could use your horn to run away, which is always a good method. Um, sadly, it's not as fast as it used to be, but it's still very good. You can still get away successfully most of the times. Um, run away from those hippos, too, guys. Hippos are very dangerous. Um, you don't really want to go in the lakes too much. I'm kind of steering clear of the lakes. Um, because you don't want those hippos wrecking you, you know what I mean. Um, it can't go underwater for too long as the rhino. But coconuts are a really good uh, thing to farm, basically, as the rhino. And you just want to get in as many kills as possible, as I stated earlier. So I see this puffer fish, he's on the land, yo. I don't know what he was doing. But I actually, I, did, I actually don't use my horn, I didn't want to. But I still got the kill just from chasing him, guys. The rhino is pretty good. Um, I just got a tail bite, got the hippo. Um, those dragon tail bites, like, they're good to do, but you gotta be safe, guys. You don't want to die, because we've all had those moments where we try to tail bite someone, and then we just completely fail. But as the hippo, you can actually use that, like, growling power, or, or whatever it's called, just basically stunning someone. Um, it has a close range, so you have to be careful. Um, they have to be, like, right near you in order for it to work. But it did work for this croc, but he did get away. I got, I got it again successfully and got one and then two hits and got the kill along with some water, which is always helpful. Um, see lots of high-level people. Yo, two crocs and two rhinos. Just trying to get as many points as possible just from hitting them. You, you know what I mean? Um, they stunned him again, but I wasn't able to kill him because the rhino can run away pretty easily. Um, that dragon is wrecking it pretty well, though. Yo, this croc's trying to run away. It's always good to kill and get these nice kills. Crocs are really good for hippo kills. You can kill crocs pretty often. Uh, rhinos are kind of a rare kill because they can run away if they're smart, at least. But if they find themselves in a bad position, you can actually kill rhinos. Um, sometimes, of course. I mean, obviously, you can kill anyone in certain positions. This rhino was actually my fan, so I let him go, guys. I could have killed him right there easily. I mean, he didn't have the end tag, but, I mean, I just decided to let him go anyways. But, guys, seriously, yo, use the end tag, yo. I want to see a bunch of people uh, with the end tag in-game. So, I just killed that rhino. Just a nice snag, like I said earlier. You can just get those awesome kills in the perfect positions. Um, a lot of it does come down the luck, guys. But, if you're careful and you're patient, you can easily get to the Kraken or Dragon, even if you were new to this game. So I just tailbait that guy. I'm so close, guys. I just want to try to tailbait one more of the dragons while they are fighting. And I did get him. Right the dragon. Not bad. I mean, it was a pretty quick run overall. Now I'm just chasing this guy. If you want to get more points, just make sure to kill dragons and all that. Um, basically, killing dragons is a good way of doing it. But they recently updated it so you can't go on top of each other. So you can't really have any dragon fights. Like, they're kind of unproductive. You just go like this. What we're doing right now, what you can see. They could stay like that for hours, literally. If you waited that long, they could seriously stay like that. And nothing would occur. You'd basically just be losing points from random people coming along and uh, tail biting you. But this guy, I don't know. It, I'm pretty sure what he's saying in Spanish right now says kill me or something i wasn't really sure but it seems like it at least but then he starts fighting me at the last moment 
Uh, I don't really know if you wanted me to kill him or not. You guys can let me know if you guys know what Spanish is. Like, I, I don't know. I take Spanish. I'm pretty sure he said kill me, but I killed that croc. Um, using your fire as the dragon is a good way to get kills. You can also check out my 5 million kraken video um, if you want to see how to get some kills as a kraken or just really any of my videos with high scores. Um, but that's basically it, guys. You just got to be patient. Be careful. Uh, make some smart choices. And no matter how bad or how new you are to this game, you can get to the Kraken or the Dragon, guys. Um, so right now, I actually see one of my fans. Yo, this guy knew me. Uh, not using the end tag, but I still had to give him that kill because, yo, you guys are awesome. So I'm letting him kill me. I'm at a little over a 2 million score, which is not bad. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications. Um, like I said earlier in this video, I will be pinning like one of the first comments that I like. And I want you guys to like it as well. Let's see how many likes we can get it to. Um, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like on this video, of course. And thanks for all the support, guys. We're almost at 14,000 subscribers. It does mean a lot. And I'll see you all in my next video. Peace out.